Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam and today I'm going to be doing a rather large pruning job uh, along the road right here where all these limbs are hanging out over my turf. My turf used to go further up into this wooded space, but these limbs have crept out further and further and further over time. My wooded space right here was actually all destroyed during Hurricane Fran in 1996. I lost 120 trees in this yard and new trees have come back very very vigorously and some in places i don't even want them there are some that are actually out too far out of the wooded area i'm eventually going to take the tree completely out but for now i need to get these limbs cut way back because my turf is now all the way down at the bottom of my ditch i have a ditch that runs through here and i don't know i think you'll be able to see it very well today because it's way too bright to be shooting a video but sometimes you just have to do it i need to get this turf to migrate back up that hill just a little bit. Um, before long, I'm gonna have pine straw in the bottom of my ditch and that's not what I want. So I've shot several videos in the last few weeks about pruning and I'll link those up here in the corner. You definitely wanna watch those because all of the heavy limbs I'm gonna be cutting off, I'm gonna be using that technique of cutting the bottom of the branch first and then making a cut on the top to keep it from damaging the tree as it breaks off. So you definitely wanna watch that video on how to remove large limbs off of trees. I've got some vines hanging down in here as well. I'm gonna trace those back into the woods and actually cut those off at the base. If you have vines, it's fall right now, and if you have vines, uh, as it gets cooler, that is one time of year you can actually kill vines uh, with chemicals. Uh, most of the time it's very, very difficult. There's very few chemicals that are good at killing woody vines. In the fall, they start to take the nutrients out of the leaves back down into the roots, and they'll actually carry the chemicals with them too. So that is a good time to take care of those if you want to do that. I'm actually just going to trace them back to the ground, cut them off at the base, deal with them next spring. I've done a subscriber Sunday video where I went through all of my pruners and I'm going to be using several of those today. I've got my loppers. I've got this chainsaw on a stick or this cordless tree pruner. I've got a smaller folding saw, my hand pruners, anything that I need to just go along here and cut all of these off. Tomorrow I'm going to be turning all of the stuff into mulch. That'll be a video that's coming out after this one. I have to admit, I'm terrible about wearing things like gloves and goggles and ear protection and all those kinds of things, but when you're doing a job cutting limbs off above your head like this, it probably is a good idea to have on eye protection. And I had a couple copperheads in my yard last week, so that's definitely the reason for the gloves. I have piles of things where I've been pruning from all these pruning videos and I need to turn it into mulch. I guess that's why the poisonous snakes were in my yard, so um, I am wearing gloves today.
Okay, that's pretty much all the cutting I need to do. Now I just have to drag it out of here. Okay, so here's the view from the other end. I had all this stuff was hanging all the way out to here. And there's the bottom of the ditch. I'm gonna get this pine straw right here pulled back and get some grass seed along here after it gets a little bit cooler. If we walk up this way a little bit, there's one tree right here. This pine tree is just too close to the grass. I'm gonna take that completely out with a chainsaw in another project. I left a few limbs here and there. I may bring my chipper along here and just chip this stuff in place but i do have to get this grass just back up here on this bank just a little bit to stop any erosion from happening through this very long ditch i have across the front of my house so now i have a mountain over here a mountain over here and two more large piles over there i'm going to do another video tomorrow just to see how much mulch i can create out of these piles on my own property I've got a little more pruning to do here and a few shrubs that I still want to take out before I really start putting new things back into this yard. Uh, next week I'll finish up those few things and then the week after that I'm going to start taking out my sidewalk and really getting into the implementation of actually doing new landscaping in my yards. So remember to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel to see those ongoing landscaping videos and thanks for watching my channel.